Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Math Zone African Motives, uh, still on Mathematics N5, uh, that is working on integration. In this platform, we shall be working with the integration of uh, fractions. We shall be focusing on fractions whereby the degree of the numerator is going to be higher than, so that is uh, more than or equal to the degree of the denominator. So we are talking about uh, a fraction in this case. So if the degree of the numerator is higher than or is equal to the degree of the denominator, these are the fractions that we shall be considering in this uh, platform. So from the concept of a, a normal fraction, I want us to take from the concept of a normal fraction, like uh, two over seven. This is referred to as a proper fraction. This is what we refer to as a proper fraction. When we are given a fraction of 7 over 2, where this numerator is now having a bigger value uh, than the denominator, we are referring to normal fractions that we are used to. This we refer to as an improper. That is going to be improper fraction. It's no longer a proper fraction. So these are the typical fr uh, fractions that we are referring to, which are referred to as improper fractions. But in terms of... Uh, algebraic expressions as long the degree of the numerator is higher or equal that one is under the improper fraction so we apply what is referred to as the long division in order for us to integrate such type of uh, uh, fractions so we're going to apply what is referred to as uh, the long division so I hope we understand this long division from our mathematics n1 there that we introduced uh, long division and uh, mathematics and three also. So we can work from there so that we can just understand the basics part of our long division concept. And also in basically to understand that the integral of a fraction of K over uh, X plus A is uh, with respect to X in this case is uh, the same as uh, K lean of X uh, plus A plus the constant of integration. So in actual sense, if we are given this as uh, f of x plus a, we are given as f of x plus a, let us have this way as uh, k over f of x uh, plus a in this case like this, all right? We are having a function of x like, uh, let us just have this a, b, let's just have something that is easier to understand, uh, a, x plus b like this yeah, exactly this is uh, what we are given mostly in our syllabus we focus with a linear a linear uh term that is a linear term there so on this condition we are going to have our answer as k uh lean of x ax plus b so this is going to be ax plus b ax plus b like this everything over a you are going to divide by the a plus the cost of integration so take note we divide by this coefficient of x so this is the most important part that we need to understand it's just one and the same thing that we are having here but only that we need to understand when there is a number here like 5x how do we integrate that all right so as we are focusing with fractions which are not proper that is a fractions of this nature integrate x plus four everything over x plus two with respect to x these are the typical fractions that we are referring to whereby we can see that our numerator here which is the top part of our fraction is having x to the exponent of one which is equal to the denominator as long it is equal this is what we are saying here as long it is higher or equal, then we are supposed to apply this concept of the long division. So in this part, in order for us to integrate this, we are going to apply our long division. In this case, uh, that is, uh, we are saying we have got x plus 1, x plus 4 di being divided by x plus 2. So this is going to be from our long division, uh, x plus 4 being divided by x plus 2 so x plus 2 like this so just take uh, a closer back uh, a recap on your long division remember you divide always the first term to the first term so that will be x squared divided to x which is going to be 1 and this one here multiplies everything on this part so meaning to say 
we are going to have our one multiplying x. So that is a one times x, which is x, one times two, which is a two. Then we subtract this from our original part that we had. So we subtract, that's x minus x, which is a zero. Then we've got four minus two. So it's four minus plus two, which is four minus two. So this will give us a positive two in this case. So as we can see, we can't divide again because here it's two divided to x. It's always first term and first term. So we can see that this is uh, not proper for us to divide uh, two divided by x. There's nothing that can happen. So that means we are done uh, in terms of dividing. So after dividing by x plus two, we obtained in this case a one. So we obtained a one plus a remainder. This part here is a remainder that is a, uh, what we are having if it is giving us a zero then it means there is no remainder there but once you get a number here whether it's x or whatever that you get uh depending with what is being what is dividing here uh that will be your remainder in that case in that case so it's your remainder over what is dividing so it's our remainder of two over what was divided which is uh, x plus two so this is what we are going to obtain from this whole part here in separate, we can have it in this manner. So meaning to say, we are going to take this integral as, uh, so we need our integral here. So we're going to have this as the integral of this whole part is now given in this form. So this is the one that you're going to take. So this is one plus uh, two over X plus two like this with respect to X. So that is what you're going to integrate with respect to x now. So as you can see, this one can be integrated. It's a constant. Remember, a constant with respect to x, our answer is going to contain x. Then 2 over x plus 2, we are back to this part that I was explaining to say the integral of k over x plus a, it's k lean of x plus a. So meaning to say our k is represented by, by 2. So this is going to be 2 lean x plus 2. So we are going to have our answer as uh, 2 lin plus. So it is going to be 2 lin of x plus 2. So that's lin of x plus 2 plus the constant of integration. Don't forget to add the constant of uh, integration. So this is uh, what you are going to obtain. So as you can see, what we need is to apply the long division on a condition whereby the numerator is having the same exponent, the same degree of uh, uh, actually that we have on the x on the denominator we are having the same exponents as on the numerator or the numerator is having a bigger exponent than the one that is in the denominator that is uh, what we are referring to all right let us take a consideration of this typical question again uh where we are given to integrate with respect to x again this is a uh, 2x uh, cubed minus 4 everything over x plus 1. So we're asked to integrate this with respect to x. So if we check, this is our numerator, guys. We have got our numerator here, and uh, the exponent here is 3. Our denominator, the exponent here, it's a 1. So our numerator is having a bigger exponent. So that is where we are supposed to apply our division. It's bigger than what is in the denominator. So it's not a proper fraction, which meaning to say, this is an improper fraction in terms of algebraic fractions. This is referred to as an improper. That's an improper fraction. So if it is an improper fraction, therefore we are going to apply our long division. So meaning to say this is going, we are going to divide again. So that is a 2x cubed minus 4 in this case being divided by uh, x plus 1. So we're dividing by x plus 1 in this case. All right. So if you have got a condition like this where we've got uh, x cubed. It means we are talking about uh, a cubic function. And a cubic function is expressed in the form of ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus the constant, which is d. So in this case, we do not have the part of x squared. Here, we do not have the part of x. We are just having d, which is our constant, minus 4. So these parts, you what you can do, so that you do not uh, uh, have confusion. You represent them with a zero. So this is same as here. We have got uh, zero x squared. We do not have x squared. So it's same as we've got zero x squared 
we do not have x, so it's same as we have got 0x. Then we have got our constant, which is minus 4, the one that we are given. So this is minus 4 like this. All right. So these ones, we just indicate with zeros. Or you can just leave it. If you understand your long division, guys, you can just leave it like that. But if you are still beginning to work with your long division, maybe you started at N4 because N4, we never had the long division. It's on N3. So maybe you skipped that one. Then you can just take back to the original all right so this is it guys you divide first term to the first term this is your first term to the first term so it's 2x cubed divide by x there are three of them so if we divide by 1x we are going to remain with the two of them so this is going to be 2x squared whatever that you get here i said you multiply it to everything that is on this part so it's 2x squared times x which is going to be 2x cubed 2x squared times a 1. This is going to be plus 2x squared. So after multiplying back, you subtract. So here we are going to, to subtract in this case. So that's we are going to subtract. So the purpose of writing this as 0x squared, you can properly see the part of x squared in column, the part that you are supposed to subtract, so that you do not confuse yourself. All right, so here we can subtract 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, which is a 0. So there's nothing here. Then this is 0 minus a 2. So 0 minus 2, which is going to be minus 2x squared. This is under x squared. So after that, we drop the terms which are remaining. We are remaining with 0x here. We are going to take this one plus 0x. We are remaining also with minus 4. We drop these terms. All right. Again, we divide always the first term versus the first term. So it means minus 2x squared divided by x. There are two x's here, so we divide, we remain with it 1x. So that means minus 2x multiplies again everything here. So it's minus 2x times x squared, which is going to be minus 2x squared. Minus 2x times a positive 1. So this will be a negative uh, 2x. So this is what we are obtaining we subtract as uh, usual. So we're going to subtract whatever that we obtain here. Uh, let's see what you're going to obtain after subtracting. So here we are going to subtract, which is minus 2x squared minus minus. So it's a positive. So it's minus 2 plus 2, which is a 0 there. So this whole part is going to give us a 0. So that's, there's nothing here. We move on to the next part. That's 0x minus minus x the part that has got x so this is zero minus minus so it's zero plus two which is two so we're going to obtain two x we drop the terms which are remaining we are remaining with a, a minus four on this term all right again we can divide two x to the first term again first term versus first term so it's two x divided to x so x and x cancels you remain with uh, x you remain with two this is two x over x like this this one cancels so you remain with a positive two so that will be a positive two in this case so whatever that you're obtaining on this part multiplies back so it's two times x which is going to be two x two again multiplies one so two times one which is going to be two whatever that you have obtained here we subtract just like uh, the previous part so if we subtract now, we are going to see that this is going to give us a 0. 2 minus 2, that's a 0. Uh, then we have got minus 4 minus 2. So minus 4 minus 2, that's a minus 6. So this one is not giving us a 0. It's giving us a minus 6 to show that. Okay, let's try to divide again because we are supposed to divide. Minus 6 divided to x, that is our first term. So this one cannot cancel minus 6 over x. There's nothing that's going to happen. So meaning to say we are done. We can't divide anymore. So this minus 6 is representing our remainder. So meaning to say after dividing, what are we obtaining from the top part? This is what we are obtaining after dividing. We are obtaining, uh, all right, so this is what we are obtaining. We are obtaining 2x cubed. So this is going to be 2. Uh, x squared, sorry, that's 2x squared minus 2x plus 2. This is what you're obtaining from what you divided. This is the exact term that you obtained. But there is a remainder of negative 6. So we are going to write our remainder as negative 6 over what was dividing in this case. Uh, what was dividing is x plus 1 as it is. So we divide back to 
x plus 1 like this. So this is the whole expression, this one, guys, that you see here. This whole expression that we had, this part, is the one that we divided on this part and gave us this whole part. So meaning to say we can give, we can get back the integral as it is and also with respect to x. So meaning to say this is what you're going to integrate because we can integrate this part. So we are going to have as the integral. So this is equal to the integral of this whole part, everything with respect to x. So let us integrate. We are back to our normal integration, guys. We are back to our normal integration. So here we can integrate. So what are we going to have? Remember, if we're integrating, we're going to add one. So that will be three there. So we're going to have two x to the exponent of three. We divide by that new exponent, which is three. So we are going to divide by three. Uh, minus two here, this is going to be, this is already a one. So if we add a one, this is going to be minus two x squared. Then we divide by the new exponent, which is two. So as you can see, two and two are going to cancel. So we are going to remain with the negative uh, x squared since two and two canceled. All right, we move on. We have got two here, the integral of a constant. Remember, the integral of a constant carries x. So it is going to be two x. We are back to that integral of k over x plus a. So this is our constant, which is 6. So we're going to have as negative 6, the lean of our expression. This is a linear. We, we just have a 1 here. If it is 2x, you divide by 2. But here, there's a 1. So this is just going to be lean x plus 1. It was supposed to be like this over 1. But guys, dividing by 1 does not affect anything. So that's why there's no need for us to divide by 1. Okay, plus the constant of our integration in this case, always we need the constant of integration on our final answer. So this is what you're going to have at the end. Uh, so as you can see, this is how you play around with your long division part. As long the numerator is having a bigger or a higher exponent than the denominator or equal to the denominator, then you're supposed to apply the long division first. And some of these ones, you can even uh, perform it by by, by factorization, but we want to focus on the long division. Like this question that I want you to see, it can be actually be done uh, by factorizing uh, this one. Uh, let us have the integral of, um, all right, let's try to increase this one here. So we are going to have the integral of uh, x cubed. So this is given as x cubed minus eight, everything over x uh, minus two with respect to x. So Remember, x cubed minus 8 can be factorized, so we can apply the factorization concept, but here we want to apply the long division since we are talking about long division. So we're going to perform our long division. So this is a cubic function again. So meaning to say we need the format of a cubic function, a x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. This is how our cubic function is supposed to be like. So meaning to say, we are going to divide in this case. This is what you're going to do. What is dividing is x minus 2 into x cubed. So the part of x cubed is there. So this is x cubed. We do not have x squared. So we're going to write it as a 0. So it's a 0x squared. We do not have x part. So it's going to be a 0x. Okay. Then d is our constant, which is uh, minus 8. Just like the previous part, this is a negative 8. So we are going to divide. Like I said, first term always versus the first term. So x cubed divided to x, that will be x squared. There are three of them. So you multiply back. What you get here, multiply is everything on this part. Everything must be multiplied. So meaning to say we are going to have x squared times x, which is x cubed. x squared times minus 2. This is going to be minus 2x squared. We are multiplying this and minus 2. After multiplying, subtract. So you're going to subtract everything in this case, all right? So here, this is x cubed minus x cubed. These are the it's equal terms. They are just the same. So they give you a zero. So that's nothing here. Then we've got zero minus minus two. So it's zero minus minus the part with x squared. We are talking about where there's x squared. So that's zero minus minus two. So it's going to be a positive. 2x squared. Take note, 0 minus minus. The sign affects also the sign that is inside. Okay? The remaining terms, drop them as they are. So meaning to say, we are going to drop our terms. That's plus 
0x minus 8. We are back again to our division, okay? We divide again. First term always to the first term. 2x squared divide 2x. That will be a positive 2x. Whatever that you get here, multiplies everything back. So it's going to be 2x uh, multiplied to x, which is going to be 2x squared. 2x times minus 2, which is going to be minus 4x. Whatever that you get here, we subtract. So we're going to subtract, meaning to say, uh, here we're going to have 2x squared minus 2x squared, which is a 0 there. Then this part, it's a 0 minus minus. We're talking about where there's x. So it's 0 minus minus, which is a plus. So that will be plus 4x. We drop the remaining term, which is uh, a negative 8 in this case. So the remaining term here is a negative 8. We divide again, all right? So we divide again. So this is going to be 4x divided 2x. So x and x cancels, meaning to say we remain with a 4, a plus for this one. Those x and x cancelled. We multiply back 4 times x, which is going to give us 4x. 4 times minus 2, which is going to give us minus 8. We can subtract again, but as you can see, these terms are the same. These terms are the same. So the moment you subtract them, that will be a 0. We are subtracting same terms there. So having a zero there, it means you were dividing by a factor. This is a factor. X minus two is a factor of X cubed minus eight. That's why we are not having a remainder. That's a factor just like six over two. If two is a factor of six, it means whatever that we get here does not have a remainder. So that is uh, the exact condition that we are having, even for fractions again. If you are dividing with an exact fraction, it means you are not going to have the remainder in this part. All right. So that is uh, what you're going to do or that you're going to have. Like I said, it could be, have been done by factorization part. All right. So at the end, we are saying this whole function that we are given here, after being divided, we are obtaining this as, since there is no remainder, I want you to see this part. If you say 6 divided by 2, it is equal to 3. It means if we multiply 2 times 3 like this, if we multiply this 2 times 3, this one 2 times 3, we get this 6. So we were dividing this x cubed minus 3 by x minus 2, and we got this part here. So meaning to say these two, if we multiply them, they must give us this part that we had before of x cubed minus 8. So meaning to say we are going to rewrite x cubed minus 8 as x minus 2, the one that was dividing, and the exact term that we obtained, uh, which is uh, x squared plus 2x plus 4 like this. All right, everything over the, over the denominator, the one that was there before, which is uh, x minus 2, with uh, respect to x. So as we can see here, the x minus 2, the x minus 2 is going to cancel. So it is the same thing as it was done uh, by uh, factorization. After factorizing this part, you are going to obtain two brackets, that this bracket and this bracket. Then you divide them. Then we can factorize the remaining expression of x squared plus uh, 2x plus 4 with respect to x. So this can be integrated. So we can integrate with respect to x. Add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. These are algebraic terms. That's how we integrate them. So we're going to add 1 here. So that will be a 3. So that's x to the exponent of 3. We divide by the new exponent plus the same thing here on 2x. This is same as already there's a 1. So if we add 1, that will be 2x to the exponent of 2 over 2. 2 and 2 cancels. We remain with x squared. So we're going to have x squared plus 4 is a constant. So the integral of a constant is multiplied by x plus the constant of integration. All right. So this is our final answer, as we can see. So the approach of long division is how we, this is how we apply our long division. All we need is to revisit our long division as a separate topic just to 
understand what is it that I'm dealing with when I'm dealing with long division. All right, just uh, last question. Uh, let us see this question again on long division. is something else that we just need to understand. Uh, but as you can see now, the basics of it we now have. Uh, this is given as uh, the integral of uh, x squared. I want us to see this one, the integral of uh, x squared like this over x minus 5 with respect to x. So the first thing is to analyze. It's a fraction. Analyze it and see. The denominator, the numerator is having a higher exponent than the one in the denominator. This is one, this is two. So meaning to say it's an improper fraction. Let us perform our long division. Uh, we are not talking about partial fractions. Partial fractions is something else where we have got uh, denominators now. There's another denominator here. There's another one here, another bracket. Therefore, there we can think of partial fractions. Here, we forget about th those terms because we are just given a single uh, a, a single term or a single bracket or a single expression. So there is no need for us to think of uh, that partial fraction concept, okay? Think along the, uh, the long division when you are given this type of a person. All right. So in this case, we are going to apply our long division, meaning to say this is x squared. We are talking about the highest exponent, which is of a parabola, a quadratic, which is given as y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So as we are focusing with the ax squared plus bx plus, this is the format of a quadratic. So it helps us now when we are dividing. We are dividing, uh, that's x minus 5, which is divided, so it's x minus 5 into x squared. So this is going to be x squared plus the bx, which is 0x, plus the constant. We do not have all these. So that's why we are writing as 0x. But it's just a formality, this one, just a formality. It's not something to matter about, just a formality. All right. So this is what you're going to have. We can divide always. It is the first term to the first term. So meaning to say x squared divided to x, this is going to give us x. This x multiplies everything on this part. So meaning to say we are going to have x times x, which is going to be x squared. So this is going to be x squared here. Uh, then x times minus 5, which is minus 5x. So take note, it's x times x, which is x squared, x times minus 5, which is minus 5x. Whatever that you obtain here, we subtract. So we're going to subtract, which is x squared minus x squared, which is a 0. We move on. This is 0 minus minus 5x. There is x here. There is x. That's why we are focusing on these terms. So this is a 0 here. So minus, minus, that's a plus, so it's going to be plus 5x. Then we drop the remaining term, which is a zero there. So it's just like plus a zero, which is not an effect at all. Or just let's write it for the sake of revision, since we need to understand all of us here. So we divide again the first term to the first term. So this is 5x divided by x. x and x cancels, you remain with a positive 5. So this is going to give us a positive uh, 5 in this case. All right, so it's 5 times everything, 5 times x, which is 5x, 5 times minus 5, which is uh, minus 25. Whatever that you have obtained here, we subtract it from this original term. So that is going to be 5x minus 5x, which is a 0 here. Then we've got 0 minus minus 25. So it's 0 minus minus 25 like this, which is a plus. So meaning to say we are going to have 25 in this case. All right. So can we divide again? It's impossible now because this is just a single term. Uh, I mean, uh, a, a, a constant. Here we are dividing with x. So we can't divide a constant with x. So meaning to say this is our remainder. So we are back to the remainder part, just like the previous part that we had. So meaning to say, if we divide this whole part that we had before, this whole part, if we are to divide it, we are going to obtain x plus 5 as the exact term that we uh, or exact expression that we obtain after dividing. So we are obtaining x plus 5. And a remainder of 25. So the remainder is a positive. So we're going to add the remainder of 25 over what was dividing here, which is x minus 5. So that's over x minus 5 in this case. So this whole part is the one that we are seeing here as it is here. So meaning to say, if it is the same part, therefore, what are you going to do? We are simply going to integrate. We introduce our integration as it is. 
everything to be integrated with respect to x. So that is what we are going to do. We are back to the normal question where we are going to integrate each and every part. So how are we going to integrate this part, guys? All right, so this is x, which is going to give us add one here. Yeah, this is one. So if we add one, that will be two. So that's x squared over two plus the integral of five. Five is a constant. So that is going to be five x. We are back to the constant over a uh, linear expression. So this is going to be constant lean of uh, x minus five. So it's going to be 25 lean of x minus 5 our denominator because this is like there's a 1 there so this is going to be x uh, minus 5 like this plus the constant of integration all right so this is how we can attempt these typical questions as you can see it needs just a, a little bit revision uh to prepare yourselves for the exams which are ahead of time just to prepare yourselves uh, in this typical approach. How do you answer these typical questions? But if you check, it's just a matter of revision. So let's say you were given to integrate because I talked about the integral where you have got, uh, in this case, they might give you a condition where we are given K over A uh, X plus B with respect to X. Let's say this was a, a certain condition that you are given. Remember what we said from this part, that is, this is going to give us uh, K, we are going to have this part as it is. So this is going to give us K lean of uh, AX uh, plus B in this case. Then we divide by the derivative of this part, which is A in this case. So we are going to divide by A. So everything divided by A plus the constant of integration. Meaning to say, if we are asked to integrate this uh, 2 over uh, 2X plus 3 with respect to X like this, this is going to give us uh, the k, which is our 2 in this case. So we are going to have this as the 2 lean of ax plus b, which is our express this part as it is. So we are going to have the lean of 2x plus 3 over a, which is this a that is affecting x. What is affecting x here? It's a 2. So this is going to be over 2 plus the constant of integration. So as you can see, this part and this part can cancel, meaning to say we are going to remain with a lean 2x uh, plus 3 uh, plus the constant of integration. So this is what you're going to obtain at the end. So these are some of the typical questions that you must expect to have. It's not always that you are just given integral of 2 over x plus 1 like this, where this is just x. It can be a number 2x. That number is supposed to be affected on your final answer. You have to divide by that number. So that is how you apply your integrals. Okay, guys. Um, that is the, our basic approach that we're going to have on the fractions. We are going to come back again with uh, questions from past exam papers, combine them, uh, work them as single questions as we are revising just as preparations for exams. But uh, thanks again to our members of the family who managed to uh, help us to make this happen uh, for us to be watching this video as we are watching it right now. So make sure that you also become the member of the family uh, by joining the membership platform so that we reach other souls uh, outside there uh, with this platform. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being part of the platform, Maison African Motives, till we meet again.